It's off now, it's off. Okay. But then you're seeing you coming in. When they will do in the new control room, they're seeing you coming in. But that also means they see their boss coming in. <laughs> so you can imagine why they didn't want to go down with the police. Because they love this little place. And uh, just, in, just when they left, there's a table here. And goes, What's a table doing there with all this space? And we found this other week. Well hidden. TV aerial. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, they knew when their boss was coming in. I've just proven their TV aerial. Nobody doesn't get the table. Okay, it's constructed through sandstones. And when they, they constructed it, it was cast iron segments. And before they bolted the cast iron segments together, we put the multiple lead in. So you can imagine when it's sealed up, it's all the same. And it is. Kingsway Tunnel wasn't constructed that way. And it was being in the It's really the natural water table, though. Because in Liverpool, the height of industry, the height of industry was using the water. So the natural water table was very low. But if you climb in the industry, the natural water table has risen. And it's trying to get through the fishes and the but, as I say, it doesn't really need that much for you. Where's my little bait? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Just in case it's there. I've held that pipe for 14 years. Never been done before, a major feature in the area. But when they put the plan application in, the only way across the river was by the ferries or the railway. And they both objected to the plan application. They said, we can understand you're putting a road through it. Major feat of engineering never done before, but to put trams underneath, you'll kill our businesses. So they objected to it. And they won. So the engineer said, well, what's the point of building that space underneath? Let's let it make it look smaller. And then the engineers discussed it. They said, well, if we do that, we put a new application in, we might even get the road. So they left it as it is, the 40 foot diameter, and said, we won't run trams through it. Then we got the planned application. Got Ooh. However, say. Let's trail back, get the best photos. this fan put on on second speed, okay? At full speed it can do roughly 70 revs per minute. Okay, but this will only be on a half speed.
I'll go through like mashed potato in a second. Yes, yeah. <laughs> if people like this end, if we all blow, we'll get it to go. <laughs> Wanna see the size of the hamster? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is he from? Oh, he's in the room, he's in the air. Which way is west? Skippy. <laughs> we call him Skippy because he skips between the two fans. So what you should feel as it gets up to speed now, we draw the shaft over there behind us. It's drawing the, the air from the tunnel. It'll come past you, into the fan and out the chimney. So you should feel it coming past you in a minute. Yes, that's the lowest load. That's the lowest set. Second speed. Second. You get it on top speed. You get a little dust coming up. Oh, I get you. Oh, yeah. In fact, you might even get some down. Just watch your eyes. Just All right. down sometimes. So that's a three-phase DC motor, I take it, is it? No, that's an AC. Oh, that's to uh, technical for me. Phil's the, uh, the engineer. That's nice. an inverter. Oh, it's inverter, is it? That's how they speed it then, for the inverter? Yeah, it's a free yeah. DC chopper. Uh, oh, a PWM? Yeah. So I sorted it out, it's a PWM. Thank you, yeah. It's like you're talking to a different line, is it? Pulse width modulation, it takes the top parts of the waves. Ah, right. It's like a computer controls the computer fans. That's right, yeah, they are. For efficiency. It's, uh, they're on a cork bed. Oh. Yeah. All right. It only needs to be a couple of millimeters out, so it's not going to Yeah, I bet. That's what they did to the um, centrifuges in Iran. Oh, right. You remember when Amber Dimajad put that bit on of him on the computer yeah. showing the centrifuges? Well, that was enough for the uh, secret services to work out what type it was. They hacked into it and they hacked a slight variation in the turbines because they go about 78,000 RPM and it made them wobble and they all blew up and it wow. put their nuclear program back about three years wow. just from him showing that one bit on the telly. Yeah, they yeah. yeah, so saw the PCs and they saw what type of centrifuge they were using to enrich uranium. Well, this is lovely, all these old tiles. It reminds me of Blackpool. Oh, this building is amazing. There's a, a quarter of a million glazed brick in this building. Where? Wow. But as I say, you know, it's just it's just gone. That won't happen now. Nah, nah, nah. Just be concrete. It's just the, the cost. Yeah. And also, you know, the time it takes a bricklayer to do it. Yeah. You know. No one's got any time. Everyone has to do three people's jobs now. <laughs>
colours are fresh air chamber. As you can see, it's a lot brighter, a lot more cleaner than the chamber here. That's because the other one with the jaws, the drug and regular jaws down. This one will be using fresh air to go into the tunnel. So how do we get the fresh air into the tunnel? We look up. Our building's rectangular, big chimney. It's got two shoulders, one in this corner, one in that corner. Now we know where it's too tall. Fresh What's around. happening? You probably feel it now. That fan, the duty fan, is dragging fresh air from high level, coming past you, going round to that duty fan, then goes down a shaft 90 feet down. Remember that drawing we showed you where the, the roadway and the airways either side? This fresh air dragging in. It was only for about 50 people, wasn't it? It didn't work. All the rest were working. <laughs> Sounds really nice and smooth, that motor. Yeah. That's it. Might be a slight carbon dioxide in the air. All the car exhausts. <laughs> Obviously, you must have done a bit of We were just lagging behind taking a photo. Do you still no, sure, sure, sure. about this? Okay. They look quite small. They don't sound the same, do they? No. They've got inductive control, have they? The same. It sounds like the others are inverter control. Yeah, it's, it's 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 there's a source of detail. There we go. 350 kilowatts. Yeah. yeah, some view of aids. Probably take five. Going to the fast rate speed. Yeah. Speed direct. Speed direct. Yeah. Yeah. And direct onto the ground. Everything else is on the trajectory as well. Yeah. Small people in the front. Yeah. So everyone can see the photograph. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, all right. So. Yep. It was the first electric elevated railway in the world. Okay. It was the first elevated railway to have escalators. Okay. But they didn't last long because ladies in the day used to wear long dresses. Fat cops there a lot long. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
No doubt there was claims in them days. Uh, <laughs> that was the first electric rail railway to have automated electric signals as well. Chicago, New York based there's on we have here. Possibly would have been a fantastic tourist attraction now, but hey. Alright, so where we are now, we're actually on reclaimed land. The natural banks of the River Mersey is actually back here. So it's back here where St Nick's Church is, the other side of that six lane strand road. And then actually, strand in Latin means beach. That used to be the beach. So we're on reclaimed land here. So when they built this bridge structure, they were worried because they knew the river would still come and try and find its natural bank, which is back here. So they put these holes in the walls. They're called culverts. Couple down there, couple when we come in, see the holes. And that was to allow the river to come in so it didn't put too much pressure on the bridge structure. The river still comes in. Those holes are replicated about 20 foot further down. Where we are now, this is the platform that's just been filled in over the years. We're on about 30 foot up now in this bridge structure. The other side of that wall, the river still comes in. Right, okay, what we're going to do now, this is, what is it, Phil? This is our visitor display attraction. You know, the museums have bells and whistles. This is a piece of nylon rope with a nut on the end. So <laughs> Oh, infinity, near me. It used to go to the outer wall of the pier head, but it doesn't go that far now. <laughs> yeah. It's a quick boot. It was totally the jellyfish. <laughs> Judah? <laughs> I've got a hard hat on. This. Because I'm hard. You're hard. Yeah. <laughs> There's a fried egg there. Fried egg, yeah? Yeah. Right, what we've got here, you just looked at all the arches, right? You've looked through the arches, a long way to the river. The water we just, we just proved and trying to make its way to its original banks. This wall is the George's Dock Wall, original George's Dock Wall, 1771, and that's a timber where the boats used to tie up against. So, Behind that, oh. behind that is the road, the six lane road. So it's a long way from where the river used to be, where it is now, should I say. And that's where the boat used to tie up, I think. <laughs> no, it's not as big as the other one. Yeah, yeah. you get really left on the other one. <laughs> for a minute.
bit similar to this, wrong death level. Difference was with the Mont Blanc, there's only one way in, one way out, and also all the communication systems burnt out because we were on road death level. Okay? So after that, all tunnels in Europe had to go through major safety reviews. And like Phil was saying before, because we've got that space down below, our refuges okay, are down underneath the road deck. Our communication system, all our wire and cable, is down underneath the road deck. And also, the beauty of the concept being underneath the road deck is, you ready? Sorry, I've got some underwear on now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're in the fresh air flow, so no smoke, fire can get down there. Okay? We just want to come away from that wall just quickly. The seven refuges are all interlinked. Can you keep the count? It's freezing. Okay, just quickly. staircase stay over to the right hand side okay if you walk down the left hand side you'll bang your head on the lights so please stay over the right hand side so that fresh air fan you saw look tame you're on the end of it in a minute Thank <laughs> you. 
Just watch yourself on this. Alright. tunnel goes around the other airway and how we separate the airflow is we got what we call our banana walls okay and now we get the airflow up onto the, the rotor holes bored into the underside as you can see a lot of the holes here are boarded up and the reason for that is we don't want to lose all the airflow so quickly we've got to make sure it gets to the centre to meet the fresh air coming back okay what we're going to do now we're going to take you down the other side of this wall into Central Avenue. As we go down, just be careful because we lose a little bit of light. Okay? If you just kindly tell the person behind you that we're going up and we're going down. Up, down. Okay? Up. Up. White walls, just like you want to do this in the winter. Oh, wind chill. Oh. If I get it on the edge there. <laughs> yeah. You think if you go fast enough in the car, you can just go Yeah. Fast. emergency she's got that very reassuring face she would tell you what's happening in a, in a nice calm <laughs> in a nice calm manner and obviously uh, tell you what's happening and most importantly if it was a Saturday she'd give you the footy scores <laughs> yeah. all right no joking aside um, is there anything you would like to ask her while we've got it on the screen from the police inside of the tunnels, anyone got any questions they'd like to ask? How many accidents there at a time? Per week, day? Yeah. Yeah. How many accidents a, a week, a day, roughly? Uh, um, it, it really just depends, you can't predict it, but there's at least, uh, I'd say, two or three a day. Oh, wow. That's it. Both, both tunnels, Joe? Yeah. Both tunnels. Yeah, in both tunnels, and we can vary in severity because. Kingsway, the Wallasey Tunnel has HGVs and dangerous roads going through, so obviously they pose a, a bigger problem for us. Queensway, where you are now, it's narrower lanes, and have got traffic in both directions, so we can have head ons in that tunnel. Any other questions? How many police staff are there on duty at any one time? Yep. How many police officers are on duty at any one time? 
at the moment, um, on my section, we've got two people in the control room, two officers in the control room. I've got a, a mobile supervisor between the opposers exits and both tunnels, and an officer on each tunnel. Hope that makes you feel safe. Up, 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 up. The door's going to lean on that, I think. Uh. I nearly went flying. Yeah, it's not safe. We do a, we do drills with the engines, and that's how you get it. Oh, that's good. Disused branch exit now. Used that for the I nearly went flying. Then I was going to lean on that. Did he did lean on? I nearly, I nearly went flying. <laughs> Oh, I'll give you my card. I might make a video you know, what of it. What we haven't had for ages yeah. is uh, it's tricky with the low light. People will blow photographs onto the onto TripAdvisor. We have a uh, oh, you want me to do one of them? If you don't mind, yeah, yeah, I'll do one of them. It's just that now again we get asked. Um, I do. Uh, why people don't put photographs on? All right. Well, I'm, I run four YouTube channels. So that's what I normally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's what the little 4K videos. Ah, right. Yeah. So I'll bung a few of that on. If you don't mind, yeah. Make sure I have told no sex is the ultra. No, 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 I, I, I won't do that. I haven't, I've only recorded bits because it gets yeah. very hot. But it's, it's tricky in low light. You really need to try part in new time to get it right so there's snaps more in professional shots. Um, it's really a bit different, isn't it? Well, best yeah. six quid I spent in a long time. Yeah, it only went up last year from a five. It's it? really cheap. But to be honest, when these tunnels first started, we get a lot of complaints because obviously it's a toll tunnel tunnel. Yeah. So it's starting to show people what you're spending your tunnel money on. Right. Because every... every you know, I found some of the... It, when we were coming through the, the bridge, uh, through the tunnel, sorry, yeah. that, that turning off... Yeah, yeah, the, the branch exit. Yeah, it, it had a sign up saying no left turn. <laughs> Building side, no, right side. Right, that, that's if you're in the outside lane. Oh, I get you. Yeah, I was looking at it, I thought, hang on, I didn't want to do it. You know what, I thought that myself when I drove through here. Yeah. It's a bit confusing. So that's my first experience where we're going through that tunnel. Yeah. When I looked at that and we were going to go that way, I thought, hang on, you can't turn left, but the cars are going down there. Yeah. I thought that was a bit confusing. I know it is, yeah. I've, I've noticed that sign. Yeah. And I've thought that's a bit of a fact that can cause an accident. Oh, yeah. Oh, it'll be non stop fun trying to find the wiring fort here. Which? <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I like to be honest, a lot of that's dished for the now it's going to be used. Uh, a lot of it's here. Previous steps there? Yeah. yeah, the previous steps, yeah. Fibre optic, little thin stuff like that. Oh. Oh, it's a good way for long distance fibre optic. Oh, yeah. And you can accelerate it as well, can't right. you? Yeah. We've got one more left here. We've got one more left here. We've got one more left for the ghost.
We have a lot of rainwater sits up at the top. Mm -hmm. We got a contract. Oh, really right, don't you, Ryan? Yeah. Don't just carry on walking in the lot of them. People grab the lift, it's too jaded, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my own special VIP lift. Did you just yeah. Yeah. No. No one told me you had a Cody last night. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> Joe Frazier, man? No, it's a, it's a foul. So they commissioned the famous uh, Liverpool architect called David Rouse. He was involved in designing the Philharmonic Halls and some of the bank buildings in, in Water Street just past the town hall. Uh, so he was commissioned to add this ugly chimney. And at the time, uh, Tutankhamun Car Moon had one being dug up, so he was fascinated by Egypt. So that's why in the stonework on the exterior of the building, you'll see it's very Egyptian in appearance. We've also got two black uh, basalt statues. Uh, you see the paper mache versions when we were putting our there on the, in the front alcoves, and they're called night and day. One's got a star and one's got a sun, and basically they depict the 24 hour operation of the amazing tunnels. Right, do you want the good news now or the bad news? When to see these two guys have got blue? Yeah. Oh, the, uh, the caretakers? Uh, the, Control the message. He said, email to spot the two guys in the room. He said, Who? There's only them two. No, you won't see them tonight. You won't see them tonight. It's too early. It's when we do the show storms in November, Halloween. No, the guys got moved. These are the guys that got moved to the. Oh, to the first floor? Yeah. Oh, you won't see them. I think it's too far. No, no, no. You're not allowed to make that. Okay. Good news is, you can take your hats off now. Okay. Bad news is, we've still got another little flight of stairs. <laughs> All right. Um, also, what people ask of you, um, if you could, if you go on TripAdvisor, uh, basic tunnel tours, and obviously we only take five. Six out of five. Six out of five, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can give us a little, <laughs> give us a little review. If you've enjoyed the tour, you like a little name check. So it's Billy and Phil. If you haven't been keen on the tour, or you haven't liked any of the jokes, it's Diane and Alison. <laughs> they're the two female tour guides and to be honest they know, know more than what we will ever know because they used to work in this building and they actually started these tours off from years ago. And our directors read these reviews so it does help. That's yeah. why we can keep it at six pounds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why is it so yeah. cheap? But, yeah, I, I should have said so you've got to jokes that that's cheap as well. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> no, if you could, just a, just a little review. Because, um, and, and also, obviously, you got if you, um, what we had, we got asked by our Martin team, someone put some nice photos on you. Got some good yeah. Well, we're trying. Yeah. Low light's too tricky. Did you get any of your mm. film like that? Well. <laughs> 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 no. Right. Do now. Yeah. 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 Also, this building got hit during the war as well.
We were saying that when we went through the tunnel, I wonder how many people died doing it. That's yes. one of the things I Seven, said. 17, amazing really, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And lead, lead for the joints. Yeah. I mean, you know, now we've found that that's bad. The Kingsway Tunnel was